I have prepared a SWOT analysis on Ripps' decision on charging a dollar for the elderly and disabled bus pass. SWOT analysis is strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Very brief and short to the point. Strengths. For RIPTA, it is a perceived, not factual, strength because the decision will damage RIPTA's ethical reputation and promote less customers because currently people still pay for the passes and lessening that customer base means less money. Weaknesses. The weaknesses. The diminishing of RIPTA's customer quality will cause emotional unsafe working conditions from projected emotional dislike from the from the bus drivers that disagree with this and keep quiet for fear of loss of their jobs and the managers too and the potential for lawsuits of emotional distress against the corporation because RIPTA as a corporation is a separate legal entity from the workers, this means to settle this in court would probably mean your paychecks and salaries would probably be cut. So that also interferes with your investment plans. Opportunities. Raising prices for these, for those that can afford it, like the high schools and colleges, not the disabled and elderly, this approach makes more sense both ethically and financially. Threats. Lack of transportation for those that need it and can't afford it will cause boycotts, complaints, and the rise of new competitors to help dissolve RIPTA's business and management success from unethical, from, from ethical, financial, and economic concerns against RIPTA. And something to think about. Now, Everyone involved in this decision will directly and indirectly have the results in their hand. So think about what you're doing. There are ways, um, not on the backs of the low income, elderly, and disabled, that this deficit can be resolved without charging a dollar or 25 cents each time they provide a ride. Like some people mentioned about charging the colleges and stuff. I will generate reports with legal, managerial, and economic ramifications of the solutions towards this for an ethical way to support us over here and that can also support you and how charging a dollar for each ride will really devastate Ripta ethically and business-wise. I've already, I've already generated the SWOT analysis and more will come and I will email these to you Ripta people and the disabled advocacy organizations. And if you have any facts or dispute and come up with better solutions, then if you don't, then relying on harmful opinions that have no ethical base does not really help use and help us. That's all I'll say. <laughs>